What's up? A lot of people have been asking me to do a video on this Marvel Legends HasLab Giant Man because they've been curious about what my opinions are on this. You know that this is a channel that will talk about action figures, it talks about entertainment and it will talk about sports and also other things that are happening in Ireland and the wider world. So thanks for being here. This is an item that I think is absolutely ridiculous. You have a billion dollar corporation asking for crowd funds. And a lot of people, myself included, looked at the likes of the Sail Barge and Unicron and said, I can see the reasoning behind why you may be doing that. The idea of it not going onto a retail shelf, sure, because these are dream projects, they are huge items, and will these retailers stock them? Probably not. Will online retailers stock them though? That was a big question because there were some that were interested in doing that but were told no. You're seeing now Hasbro Pulse, for example, in Europe has moved G.I. Joe nearly exclusively behind Hasbro Pulse. That's not good. That means what can happen from here on out is that they can set their prices for G.I. Joe in that market and they can just bring them up and up and up and up and up. And that's exactly what you're seeing here with this HasLab Giant Man. Now, I'm going to say something that's going to be interesting, but also something that's probably going to be somewhat offensive, I suppose, to some Americans. What has happened with these HasLabs and why you're getting something as dull as this is because Hasbro employees are in Facebook groups, Twitter groups, forums, wherever it might be, and they are seeing people that look at an item like this. It happens in the Transformers one, so this is how we know. And they're looking at the items as soon as they're revealed and people go, I wait for clearance on that. I wait for clearance on that. Now, what's happening here, in my humble opinion, is the Marvel Legends team have scrambled together and have said, uh-oh, that Engine of Vengeance was a failure. We need a surefire guaranteed win here. What can we do? And they pulled this one out. Because I think that this should have been and could have been, and I think it probably was with how far they have come with this prototype. I mean, the prototype that they showed, I was like, that's actually really advanced for something that's a possible crowdfund. I think that this might have been pulled from being a potential pre-order and what gives me that inkling is is and now i'm open to correction people in the toy industry now more than i do but it takes about two years to get these things off the ground and the fact that you have a 60th anniversary of avengers and everybody knew coming up to this year the way that they were revealing things like iron man the hulk and bruce banner and captain america and all everybody knew who was missing the new giant man was missing and ant-man i suppose to a point too so Everybody knew what the HasLab was going to be. Now, with two years out, did they change things? After the failure of the Engine of Vengeance, did they change things? Because, to be quite honest with you, if I was them, I would have went with Apocalypse and his four horsemen. That's way more interesting and probably way more in line with what has succeeded before. Two villainous characters in Marvel Legends have overwhelmingly succeeded. And now they've gone with this character. I'm going to just tell you this here, right? Joint Man ideas are better than what you're actually seeing here from Hasbro themselves. I've seen people that have posted videos with all of these ideas. Oh my God, we're going to get a 24-inch figure. We're going to get a 12-inch one. We're going to get a 6-inch one. We're going to get a 3 and 3 quarter inch one. And I'm looking at them going, that's definitely not happening after what happened last year. There's no way that that's happening. Because here's what Hasbro are going to do. You people that are out there, and God love you, because you think that they are actually going to do something that is going to look after you they're going to do hank pym at six inch and they're going to do janet van doyen at six inch no they're not what they're going to do is and they know this they're going to release them in a further wave now think about that for a second does that not then bring up the value of this haslab then so it's 229 here 99 we'll go with that there because they wanted to keep talking about it on the stream it's under 200 dollars it's not under 200 euro anyway lads but they're going to bring that over at them because the Marvel Legends here in Ireland now are over 30 euro. So that's a 60 euro add-on if I wanted to get a 6 inch Hank Pym and a 6 inch Janet Van Dyne. You see what I'm saying? So that adds on to this then and I think an awful lot of people that are commentating on this haven't thought about that. Because this is exactly what they're doing. They did it with Galactus as well. Think of all the heralds that they released in and around that there. And that was the tester in my opinion to see would people take that. Because myself included i was like well why wouldn't you include all of the heralds rather than three because they could space them out then and make them into a two pack and i think there was a single issue figure then perhaps then even as well i think it was in fantastic four fire lord if i'm not mistaken he was in there so they know this going into this there so this has lab and people saying oh it's under 200 oh it's under this 
it's actually creeping up then when you add the six inch figures to it that they're going to release in the wave now i'm open to correction but i'm guaranteeing well i'm not guaranteeing i won't say that but i would say we're in we're inside a year we'll probably see a wave of ant-man related figures it will be though after the last movie didn't do too well who knows but i've seen an awful lot of people out there with better ideas than what this has lab has actually been i mean it's kind of evocative of the mcu and recent star wars theories that are out doing what actually disney has put out to me and like as i said beforehand i don't need to retread it too much but what should have come with this has lab absolutely to make this worth it was a six inch scale ant-man a train three quarter inch ant-man and then a small ant-man like for example the transformer studio series wheelie something about the size of that i think it's probably about maybe even less than 10 centimeters maybe even five centimeters you're looking at the figure here now and just as a whole on the figure it's very average looking the neck articulation isn't modern so that suggests to me that with these has labs by the way they can always do this again later on down the line so it suggests to me that this isn't the best figure that they ever could have done i also think the character selection is a bit strange too and i'll get into that in a few moments the next next thing i want to talk about is the glass eyes are cool and that's something that they wanted to talk about in the stream and i was just like nah, they're laying this on too heavy handed and they are interesting characters to people in the marvel legends team because they make it out like anything that they put into the figures is the first time they've ever seen it or the first time it's ever been done and that they didn't get influence from elsewhere like lads i'm sure you are well aware that mattel has done glass eyes with the tyrannosaurus rex in the hammond collection i'm sure you know that don't you i mean there's plenty of people out there that just talk to on your little streams and stuff like that and they have them in the background they talk about them they've got the reviews up and for anyone that's like, oh no, Hasbro probably didn't say that there. Mattel have that. Not only that then, Mattel have pinless figures there as well with Masterverse. But Hasbro still can't quite figure out how they can do pinless with everything. It's mad stuff for this. It really is. Coming to the price, Transformers retail at the same price as I said before. I think this is a ridiculous HasLab. I think this is ridiculous that they put this behind a crowdfund. And I think it comes out of fear. I mean, Giant Man and Ant Man sure they've done all right in the movies the scott Lyon character by the way because they didn't want to put hank pym in there because of what hank pym was up to in the comics we'll get into that in a moment but these movies have done okay and yet you've decided to put this guy behind this why because i think their perceived notion of this guy going to clearance potentially in stores and it's actually starting to happen here now in ireland where you have stores that are reducing the price of marvel legends transformers and other hasbro products which is very unheard of and very much so unseen before these times i mean you've got a captain marvel wave that's out right now that's before the movie has released by the way that's actually on reduction already so i think what's going on is they decided to put this behind a haslab moniker so that they can get the full amount of money out of this as possible and you think can think of that whatever way you will and i say to people that are looking to save a few quid fair play to you and i mean i'm that way now when it comes to this company when i see a release i'm like i'm not paying that top dollar for that i'm actually gonna wait and wait and see what it reduces to and if i miss on it ah, so what it doesn't matter to me but with 40 days left and you've not even gotten halfway i don't know i think it might back but i don't know i wouldn't be too confident because i could see more commentary being made at hasbro pulse con that's gonna put people off and i mean dan young's already out there talking to people with a negative attitude like uh, if you don't like it just move on uh put up and shut up there guys we're just gonna do what we're doing here no feedback guys we don't want to know that the way you talk to shartam is prime top was really interesting and then you've also then got him confirming that there's not going to be any further tears on this so i mean that to me could have went wrong because that was day one or two i think that he said that and that could have actually decreased the back account for me i'm not backing it because i'm like i don't see the value in this and these things will be 10 a penny you get this for retail eventually down the road and then you're not directly giving money to hasbro i suppose when it comes to it anyway has labs to me should be a dream project you know as i said has labs like the likes of the sail barge and unicron where it's like they had a crowbar and they kind of wedged the door open on those and now it's just run amok at this stage i mean the transformers ones over the last couple of years have been really small and there's no reason why they shouldn't be mass retail they really have people buy the short and cordies as we say here in ireland so looking at the figure itself it looks okay the head sculpts are fine i mean the face plate's not great you're gonna have a bit of gapage in and around here 
you're possibly going to have paint rub and maybe scuffing as well because I wouldn't be too trustworthy with what Hasbro are going to do. I think the character selection, by the way, I think is very interesting to do with Haslambov. And what I'm going to reference is something I talked about beforehand, which is the Power Rangers Lightning Collection remastered Red Ranger. who was played by the actor Austin St. John. Now, if you don't know, but I will say this because some people say, don't get political. I think these things do come down to politics sometimes and you've got to talk about them. They didn't include a head sculpt for that remastered Red Ranger. Now, Austin St. John is a very outspoken Republican, I shall say. And mysteriously, he didn't get a head sculpt for that figure. I think that that's quite weird. And, it, and I've seen it before with the Hasbro team. You know, Dan Young himself has said that they never planned on doing an angel, we shall say. We shall leave out the second name there from Deadpool, played by Gina Carano. He said Hakuna Matata to that. After Gina Carano called out what was going on, Jordan, the sniffles and stuff like that. So, that says an awful lot about these people, you know what I mean? I'm happy to talk about these things too. If you want to talk politics, I talk politics, no problem. But, just think about that for a second. Austin St. John hasn't been included as a head portrait for the Red Ranger, but they've included Hank Pym. <laughs> so, they've done a crowdfund for a guy who beat his wife in the comics. That's the character that Hank Pym is. Now, not only that, okay... But Joint Man and Ant Man to me are a ridiculous character because he gets really small. What's to stop any top tier character from defeating him? Not really much. I think it's a silly power set, really. I think the Atom, by the way, just I love DC as well. But just on this point, I think the Atom shrinking, I think, is ridiculous as well, too. I also thought when I saw an end game as well, Giant Man appearing, I was like, Oh, that's bad news. I think Scott Lang might get it here now because, you know, he's big there and it's going to be something evocative of uh, Marvel Ultimates where the Hulk went on a rage mission and Hank Pym didn't make it out, let's just say. And no, they didn't do that in Endgame at all. Of course, they do like Scott Lang. But anyway, going back to this here. I think it's a very average Haslab, as I've detailed over this video. I think it's something that's very safe. I think the fact that they talked about how much articulation is in the hands was really overselling it i was like this is very strange i mean your sentinel does basically the same thing galactus if i'm not mistaken does essentially the same thing this isn't a great has lab there are some people that are out there and look here's the thing i know that there's people out there and i'm talking smack about giant man and ant-man here and this is their favorite avenger their favorite character listen that's no problem we understand that if you're upset about that but just from my point of view i don't see why this character this figure couldn't have been either an online retailer exclusive a store retail release because there's bigger items and bigger boxes that are going out here around these places you know what i mean and i don't see that whole ideology now of oh my god guys we can't have these in stores why not i walk into a local toy shop here the big toy shops there and they have buggies in there they have prams you know what i mean so them boxes are big they're stored in them they're putting them out on the shelves you know what i mean they have them in the back but you're telling me that a marvel legend there from what is supposed to be one of the biggest companies in the world with billions of dollars behind and not only marvel but also hasbro they can't put that onto a shelf you gotta stop you have to stop because this is a 24 inch figure that if they wanted to they do all this build a figure stuff they know the engineering of this they could have broken this down with inside the box and made that box tiny they've done it previously they tried it as well too with this windowless packaging that they went with the environment for and then how have said ah guess what guys we're not going to think about the environment too much because guess what there was too many people swapping the figures and also then returning them then without anything in the box so they said oh no don't worry about the environment we're just going to go back on what we're saying this is a company right now, and I'm going to say this too, that is on its heels. And the reason why it's on its heels is because of so many people online. And a big shout out to the 3 POA podcast. They have been instrumental, as well as Articulated Ninja, as well as Retro Blasting, in talking about what's going on when it comes to these action figures. And it's something that I feel passionate about too, because when I see a price like this of 229.99 for a 24 inch figure that's a decent figure but not a brilliant figure i just look at it and I'd say how many people are being ripped off by this this is a complete and utter rip off in my opinion what are we going to see next do you know what i think we're going to see next and i really mean this because he likes to do this he does i could see todd mcfarland releasing the figure that's in and around the same size for probably half the price just to annoy hasbro he did something similar in and around the engine of vengeance and look i get it as well too yes the batmobile is a shell yes it's coming with very minimal stuff but 
he put it out at retail and made the engine the vengeance look silly. What do you think? Do you think that this is something you'd like to back? Do you think this is something that you think will get funded? Do you think that Hasbro are in hot water at the moment? Do you think that it is a company now that is finally facing some pushback from people that are gaining a popular and prominent voice online? And now we are seeing, say for example, $200. Oh, it's $199.99. It's under $200. That was a pushback from the community that said, we ain't paying $350 for a car and a six-inch figure. You're off your mind. <laughs> There's no way you're going to do that. What do you think? Do you think that this is a fair offering? Do you think this is something that you're going to be curious and worried about when it comes to QC with the interchangeable faceplates? Because this is it. This is your Haslab. This is your base offering. These are your tears. These alternate faces are your tears. For two two nine ninety nine. Do you think that this is worth it? I personally don't. Let me know what you think. Drop a comment below. Make sure you like. Make sure you share. Subscribe to the channel. I appreciate that. Links in the description down below of all the different social media accounts that I have on different platforms, of course. And I'll talk to you there.